Hello friends, today we're going to talk about a major development in Turkey's defense technology. On March 1, 2025, Turkey successfully tested its AI-powered mini-cruise missile, Kamankis-1, launched from the Bayraktar TB-2 drone. This is a huge step forward in military advancements and it shows how Turkey is becoming a major player in the global defense industry. Let's break this down in simple terms. The name Kamankis comes from the Turkish word for archer. Just like an archer shoots arrows with precision, this missile is designed to hit its target with extreme accuracy. It is a lightweight jet-powered cruise missile, specifically made to be launched from drones like Bayraktar TB2 and Akinci. Weight 30 kilograms, so it's quite small and easy to carry. Length 1.8 meters, speed over 600 kilometers per hour, range 200 kilometers, which means it can hit far off targets without putting the drone at risk. Altitude can fly up to 18,000 feet. Now what makes this missile different from others? The answer is artificial intelligence. Unlike traditional missiles that follow a fixed path, Kamankis-1 has an AI-driven guidance system. This means it can identify targets on its own using electro-optical sensors, adjust its flight path mid-air to ensure accuracy, strike with an error margin of less than 5 meters, and even loiter over an area for up to an hour before choosing the best moment to strike. And if that's not impressive enough, it also has electronic countermeasures to evade enemy radar and a low infrared signature, making it difficult to detect. Turkey has been investing heavily in indigenous defense production, and this missile is a perfect example of that. Unlike massive cruise missiles like the American Tomahawk, which weighs over 1,000 kilograms and costs millions of dollars, the Kamankis one is small, smart, and cost-effective. Reports suggest that each unit costs under $50,000, making it affordable for mass production. This technology will be a game-changer for Turkey's military strategy. With over 350,000 active troops, Turkey is now focusing more on drones and smart weapons to strengthen its forces. The Kamankis one, when used with Akinci drones, could even enable swarm tactics, where multiple missiles overwhelm enemy defenses simultaneously. Moreover, Turkey is looking to export this missile to other countries. Given that Bayraktar drones are already being used in more than 20 nations, the Kamankis one could attract buyers who want a complete drone missile system at an affordable price. Now why is this happening at this moment? Turkey is in a complex geopolitical situation, being a NATO member but also maintaining independent defense policies. With regional tensions in the Middle East and conflicts along its borders, this missile enhances Turkey's ability to strike targets from a safe distance without relying on foreign weapons like the American Hellfire missile. Internationally, countries like the United States and Israel are closely watching this development. Some experts believe this could make Turkey a direct competitor to Western drone and missile manufacturers. The production of Kamankis-1 is already underway with plans to manufacture 100 units per year by 2026. More tests will be conducted throughout 2025 to ensure it works in different weather and electronic warfare conditions. If successful, it could change the way Turkey conducts military operations. So friends, this is a major milestone for Turkey's defense sector. The successful test of Kamankis-1 proves that Turkey is no longer just buying weapons from foreign nations, it is now developing high-tech AI-powered weapons that can compete on the global stage. What do you think about this? Will it give Turkey a strategic advantage? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, stay informed and stay curious.